Jaw joint effusion describes the collection of fluid in the jaw joint. Having a jaw joint effusion means that the joint interior accumulates joint fluid and or blood. A joint effusion can be caused by anything from rheumatic conditions to mechanical injuries to bad posture. Accordingly, treatments vary. The most common cause of jaw joint effusion is overstraining of the jaw joint. This can happen during activities such as extended and intensive opening of the mouth during dental checkups. A day after visiting your dentist, you might feel like your teeth don't fit on one another properly. Or you may experience pain when opening your mouth. In general, cooling ice wraps and resting the joint for a few days helps. This means no chewing gum, no chew intensive food, and gentle mouth opening exercises. Furthermore, jaw joint effusions frequently occur on diseased abnormal joints, possibly resulting from jaw joint arthritis due to a lack of side teeth support. If the molars are missing on the sides, chewing energy is not transmitted to the teeth or the jawbone. Instead, chewing muscles can sometimes press the lower jaw joint head into the joint socket, which leads to a heavily stressed jaw joint. Every person reacts differently to this overstressing. Over the years, many patients will experience jaw joint deformation, as well as joint degeneration. X-rays will sometimes reveal shrinkage of the jaw joint gap, sanding facets of the joint area, and other modification phenomena. Initially, most patients feel very little effects from chronic joint arthritis. Only the more acute processes. For example, an acute effusion after a doctor's appointment is perceived as a pain period and is called an activated arthritis. To avoid letting things get this far, early treatment for gaps and tilted teeth in the side teeth areas is very important. Early treatment can help transmit chewing energy to the side teeth rather than to the jaw joints.